Uh, the Connecticut Senate has passed a so-called abortion rights bill. Its terms include protection for in-state patients and medical providers who protect them from legal investigations based on out-of-state laws. The state's governor has promised his signature. Uh, fresh off a trip to Ukraine, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says Congress's most pressing issue is to pass more aid to the war-torn country. But right now, those funds are tied with another round of COVID money, along with Title 42 and the immigration crisis along the southern border. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with the latest. Eric? Well, Tracy, I tell you what, it really is a staring contest up here on Capitol Hill, and it's going to see who's going to blink first. You know, you got Democrats who want $33 billion in aid for Ukraine, but they want to tie in that $10 billion in new COVID relief funds something that Republicans don't want. But yet Republicans, they want to add Title 42 to any COVID relief aid. So right now, it is a stalemate. I think it's very important. We have emergencies here. We need to have the COVID money, uh, and we need time is of the essence because we need the Ukraine money, we need the COVID money. So I would hope that we can do that. Congressman Michael McCall, the top Republican on the Foreign Affairs Committee, agrees with the need to get more money to Ukraine and done quickly. The representative writes, quote, the next two to three weeks are going to be very pivotal and very decisive in this war. But Republicans want Title 42 included in the COVID relief package. That's the Trump era policy allowing Border Patrol to quickly deny access to migrants due to COVID. The policy is set to expire at the end of this month. We'll need to have a Title 42 vote at some point here, in all likelihood, on the COVID package. Democrats face another challenge as well. The Commerce Department's reports the economy shrank by nearly one and a half percent last month, the worst showing in two years. I asked the speaker what caused the downturn. We think that one of the reasons for that is that our exports are out of balance. There's so much more being imported than exported. We can't ignore inflation. We have to pay attention to it. We watch those numbers and see what feeds into it. Is it the trade issue? Democrats are targeting inflation with a bill to lower gas prices by going after oil companies for price gouging. Republicans say the real reason behind inflation is too much government spending. This price of fuel has been going up since President Biden took office. So it's not all on Putin. It's on our policies where we have ramped down on American energy and American innovation. An interesting thing is even if lawmakers are able to settle their differences, House speaker, uh, House uh, lawmakers would still have to be called back to Washington, D.C. They're on recess until May 10th. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.